Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the mad cheese as always. Got some plays for you guys today out of the pistol playbook. That's right. If you guys tuned into yesterday's gameplay video, I said I was going to do a full breakdown of the Pistol Bunch TE. This particular video is not going to be that. I said in that video at the time that I thought I had an update to it. I thought I had some plays, some new plays like the spot options and stuff like that. Turns out that the old video uh, already had those plays. So I will put a link in the description for that if you guys missed it uh, but today i'm going to be focusing on a completely different formation and that's the pistol trips now if you watch my gameplays a couple weeks back i was using this particular playbook the pistol playbook pretty much non-stop and my go-to number one play whenever i needed a big play every single time was the pa counter waggle this particular play to me is one of the hardest plays to stop and it's basically because of a deficiency in the programming when it comes to zone drops. I'll explain that more in a little bit but I'm going to show you guys the pistol trips formation. This particular formation is only in two playbooks. It's in the pistol playbook and it's in the pistol, I'm sorry, and it's in the run and gun playbook which is another playbook I'm getting a lot of requests for. Other than that I'm going to have extra plays in this uh, particular formation and you know I have a full breakdown of the pistol on my uh, you know on my join now community tab on my patreon i got a full ebook all that stuff link in the description below as well so if you want to check that out you can this particular play it's really only about three different plays maybe four uh that i use the most as far as running plays go the strong power is going to be one of the most important run plays so i'm going to put these all in my audibles i got the strong power there the halfback counter is already there and then like i said as always the pa counter waggle is one of the hardest to stop passing plays in the game and i'll show you why a big reason why this particular play is so successful is because when you go to coaching ad adjustments which most people do you have the option to change your curl flats and most people probably put them between 20 maybe 15 20 and 25. well the route that i'm going to show you and the route that i'm going to attack goes about 35 yards every single time and you can see your zone drop adjustments only really go up to 30. so essentially this route is pretty much going to get open just about every single time based off the fact that none of these zone adjustments can adjust far enough back to make a difference on the particular route that I'm going to show you. Now, before I get into this video, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. I know a lot of great promos are just dropping. They just brought the Easter promo out. I think it was, or the color, or Sugar Rush promo, whatever. Um, if you guys need to get some coins to get your mutt team up between that and you know any of the promos dropping right now, check them out. Link in the description below. Use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off. Now, the reason I pick random because it really doesn't matter what particular play I run this play against. That's one of the reasons it was one of my favorite. If you watched any of my gameplays when I was running the pistol playbook, this play, anytime I needed a big play, this was the play that I used because it was, it's just so money. It's so dangerous. All I have to do, put the A route on a streak. That's it. I don't have to do anything else. I can block my running back. I don't really need that, but it's really up to you if you want to keep the play action or not. I find since it's such a run-heavy book, and even this formation is a pretty run-heavy formation, I find that the, the play action is very helpful to keep just to keep the user down. Nine times out of ten, the user is going to follow the B route anyway so it's good to keep him in the box so this play here once this route goes back the route that i'm really looking for as i get an immediate overthrow on the first play is the y route now let's go to the, go to the replay even though i didn't catch it uh, because i got a little i'm not i don't know what type of throws jalen hurts is gonna make here uh but ultimately this particular route just kind of if you if you throw this ball accurately i'm starting at the 50 it's definitely at the very least you see it's going about 35 yards so like i said most people do their zone drops at about 15 20 25 at the most nobody's really doing 30 unless they're up by three touchdowns and they know you got to bomb it out so based off of that even though like i said this is a bad throw and a bad example this route pretty much goes 35 every time I mean, it's going past any zone drops so since i'm pretty much only going to one side i will move this ball over um, and essentially run to the open side of the field that's obviously going to help so we're just going to streak this guy once again like I said, you have a couple of different options here. The Y route is really the one I'm waiting for. That's obviously the biggest play. As you can see, this ball doesn't even come close. That one was, that was 40 yards in the air. So you can see, like I said, there's no zone drops that are going to drop to the depth needed to stop this play. Now, the B route obviously is there, but I'm always waiting for this bigger play. And you can see it's pretty much 35 to 40 yards in the air every time, making a very hard play to cover. There's more than one good route on this play. The B route obviously is a very good play as well. 
Um, but like I said, I mean, this play, there's really multiple uh, really big plays here. I mean, I'm waiting a little bit, as you can see, even though momentum carried me out of bounds there. But that could have easily been a catch and run for a big play, as both of these crossing routes in the front will do a very good job of beating man coverage. Right here, even the B route, I mean, that's a good route against most defenses as well as it typically comes underneath. It's a very, um, you know, easy open route. So you really have your choice. I mean, you could throw it right away or you could wait for the big play, which is typically what I'm going to do. As you can see, one of the deficiencies of the new cover three is it doesn't follow that route typically old cover threes might where the new cover three will follow the streak if there's it doesn't matter if the center safety is covering the streak or not the new cover threes the the outside cornerbacks will follow those a those uh streaks back as well which to me is kind of stupid but like i said you can take full advantage of it as i'm you know picking up 40 and I, if i threw it a little bit earlier i'd probably have a catch and run touchdown against a lot of different defenses now like i was saying the uh the pa boot looks like it might be the same kind of play but if you if you try to do the exact same setup it really doesn't have the same effect as you can see the y route here is a lot shorter that's why i'm trying to point out how the pa counter waggle is different if we go to the replay the pa counter waggle um it doesn't get anywhere near the depth of that particular play like right here we're going about 20 to 25. that's right in the danger zone of what i'm talking about when it comes to where typically people will have their zone drops they'll typically have them about 20 and it'll get picked up right here that's why i'm saying that this other play is so much better because it's dropping about 15 yards further but with that being said this is a good play to mix in it's the exact same concept all i'm doing is streaking the tight end to pull coverage you have the same uh you know underneath route which get open and then you have the same deep route so it's really up to you but ultimately uh, the other plays better because you can't zone drop that far back so moving on to some of the run plays now this particular uh you know run series has a couple of pretty good run plays between the halfback counter and the strong power probably the most consistent the strong power in my opinion is probably the best uh, but on a look like this, I mean, this is probably a, a man zero blitz. Against blitzing defenses, I really think the strong power is probably going to have the most uh, success. Although, when it comes to, there is a gap. So if I were to try the, the halfback counter, in theory it would work. But like I said, when a lot of blitzes are coming in, you need a little bit more time to develop. So against heavy blitzers, the strong power is definitely going to be one of the better plays. On this particular play, since it's a man coverage, you're going to typically run it to the open side of the field. And then you can see, I mean, we're just going to get outside a lot of the noise make one guy miss and we typically have um, you know a pretty good pulling blocking setup now me personally I like to run it the other way I like to run it here we go looks like I have a double safety blitz again I like to run it to the receiver side but it really all depends on man or zone if there's a if the man coverage there's going to be no cornerback outside containing on the right side if it's a zone coverage like this here looks like a zone there's a cornerback there so that's pretty much the only thing that would make me change my mind as far as reads there I mean I probably could have tried to stretch that out but I saw a gap right up the middle so I took it so this play here is probably the number one and number two play but like i said there's a couple other good plays so here i typically just want to flip this anytime i have a tightly packed box like i did right there same thing you know what i mean like there's so many different ways that this particular read works against the run plays they do have a good um if you have a gap like we do here there's a good you know slam play uh, which I, I snuck into my audibles there last second. You can see if there's not a second level of defenders, like not a lot of linebackers, just hit them with a slam. It's really that simple. Here's another one. Not a lot of second level defenders. Anytime you see this, um, you know, just hit them with a, it's going to be an easy five or a very consistent run to say the very least. And then the last explosive play would be the counter. Now this is definitely more explosive than the slam, uh, but it also has more of a, pick, a possibility of you getting caught in the backfield. So here's another scenario. I'd probably run the strong power, but let's go ahead and let's force the counter just to get that on the board here as you can see I mean once there's a lot of extra blocks coming in it can have a, a positive effect obviously they can over pursue as you can see that's exactly what happened here and you can see once again it's largely based off of the spread formation defensive front so let's go and let's go to the replay because I really didn't go over that too much but you can see lots of gaps anytime you have large gaps like this you're going to have opportunities like this like I said I probably would have run, run the strong power once again flipped it run to the open side of the field uh, but based off the fact anytime I see see a large gap between this defensive end and this defensive tackle it's a perfect opportunity even if they're blitzing heavy which this defense was this is a perfect opportunity to try to take it right inside that hole so here's another one loosely spread formations anytime we see formations like this we can hit them with that counter even if they're coming in like that you can see we're still finding space those guys are going to get picked up from the pulling blockers it's really that easy so that's pretty much it i'm gonna end the video there i'll save the rest for my 
Patreon and my Join Now community members. If you guys want to see more stuff out of the Pistol Playbook, though, more run plays especially, do me a favor, hit the like button or let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.